What we know is a drop, what we don't know is an ocean. If I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. I can calculate the motion of heavenly bodies, but not the madness of people. Tact is the art of making a point without making an enemy. To every action, there is always an equal and opposite reaction. We build too many walls and not enough bridges. If you love wealth greater than liberty, the tranquility of servitude greater than the animating contest for freedom, go home from us in peace. We seek not your counsel, nor your arms. Truth is ever to be found in the simplicity, and not in the multiplicity and confusion of things. I do not know what I may appear to the world, but to myself I seem to have been only like a boy playing on the seashore, and diverting myself in now and then finding a smoother pebble or a prettier shell than ordinary, whilst the great ocean of truth lay all undiscovered before me. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Try not to become a man of success, but rather try to become a man of value. The only way to do great work is to love what you do. In the middle of every difficulty lies opportunity. You never fail until you stop trying. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. Logic will get you from a to-be imagination will take you everywhere. A person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. Strive not to be a success, but rather to be of value. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. He who could see the end from the beginning would be content to do nothing if he saw that no great purpose would be served by it. To succeed in your mission, you must have single-minded devotion to your goal. Thoroughly conscious ignorance is the prelude to every real advance in science. The true measure of a man's worth is to be found in the objects he pursues. Nature uses as little as possible of anything. The theory of probabilities is at bottom nothing but common sense reduced to calculus. A theory is the more impressive the greater the simplicity of its premises is, the more different kinds of things it relates, and the more extended its area of applicability. I have striven not to laugh at human actions, not to weep at them, nor to hate them, but to understand them. The true method of discovery is like the flight of an aeroplane. It starts from the ground of particular observation and it rises up into a field of generalizations. However difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. We are just an advanced breed of monkeys on a minor planet of a very average star. But we can understand the universe. That makes us something very special. I have noticed even people who claim everything is predestined, and that we can do nothing to change it, look before they cross the road. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. The greatest enemy of knowledge is not ignorance, it is the illusion of knowledge. We are in danger of destroying ourselves by our greed and stupidity. We cannot remain looking inwards at ourselves on a small and increasingly polluted and overcrowded planet. Intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. The universe doesn't allow perfection. I believe that life on Earth is at an ever-increasing risk of being wiped out by a disaster such as a sudden nuclear war, a genetically engineered. The present is theirs. 
The future, for which I really worked, is mine. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. The mind is sharper and keener in seclusion and uninterrupted solitude. No big laboratory is needed in which to think. Originality thrives in seclusion free of outside influences beating upon us to cripple the creative mind. Be alone, that is the secret of invention. Be alone, that is when ideas are born. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more.